Hello, today's video, we'll be learning how to create policies. In the previous video, we had learned about the default policy present in Adaptive. In today's video, by seeing some examples, we'll be learning how to create the policy. We'll be taking up some examples of policies like the password policy, the self-service policy, app setting the application set policy, and the device enrollment policy. So let us start with first the password policy. In order to create a new policy, click on the add policy set button. Now specify the name of the policy. Here we'll be specifying it as password and giving its description as setting the password. Now under the policy settings, we can set the either the policy to active or verify the compliance on Android or iOS device. We let it to be the default settings. And under policy assignment, we have options of assigning the policy to all users and devices or to certain specific roles or sets. Let us apply this policy to all users and devices. Now, in order to set the password settings, we need to go to user security policies and under that password settings. Here, we are given several settings that we can configure like the minimum password length that is required, the maximum password length or the password should require uh, at least one digit or at least one uppercase character and one lowercase character or at least one symbol. So now let us configure the settings say if, uh, the minimum password length is 6 and the maximum could be 10 and the password does require uh, at least one digit and one uppercase and lowercase character and the symbol requirement is not necessary. By display requirements we can set that if the password complexity requirements should be shown to the user when they are entering a new password. By default it is set to no. Let us set it to yes. Under additional settings we can apply checks for uh, against weak passwords, allow username as a part of password or display name as a part of password or at least one unique code character is required for the password. Let us set these settings as according to our needs. So I've set the, uh, the check against weak password and disallowed the use of username and display name to be a part of the password. Now setting the password age, we can set the minimum and maximum age. By default, the minimum age is 0 days and the default is 365 and the maximum default is 365 days. Then we can set the password history, the password expiration notification that has to be given to user or escalated pa password expiration notification or enable the password expiration notifications on enrolled mobile devices. We'll be letting these settings to defaults. There are the settings in capture settings which you can set, but I'll let it be on the defaults and click on save. Now we can see that the password policy has been saved and set to active. Now let us move on to the other policy set that is for self-service. Again click on add policy set and specify the name of the policy set. Here it is self service and the description is policy for self service by user. Now under user settings under uh, user security policies, go to self-service. Here, enable the account self-service con self controls. This means that we'll be giving users certain powers to perform certain settings on his or her account, like the setting of pre-password reset. By clicking on this box, we are allowing the user to reset his or her own password. We can set that uh, it should be done only for the Active Directory users or only from the browsers that have the specific identity cookie. And we need to now specify the password authentication profile that should be used. 
let us select to the default password preset profile or you can add a new profile according to your needs and set it and configure it but currently we'll be using the defaults by clicking on the view profile you can also see the settings of the default of this default profile now for we can also provide the user the option of account unlock that is the user will be able to unlock their account by themselves and would not require an admin to be doing that for them so for that click on this checkbox again you can specify for which type of users do you want this uh, account unlock to be available oh and you can you need to specify the account unlock authentication profile here let us select the other login profile you can set additional policy parameters or let it to be the defaults and click on save. Now the policy is saved and set to active. Now let us try the policy of application settings. Click on add policy set and type the name as application. You can give any name to this policy but I am giving the name as per my requirements and the description so as to describe what this policy is all about. Now I am setting this policy to specific roles. I am providing this policy for the users of the system administrator role and click on add. Now this policy shall be applicable only for the people under the system administrator role. Now click on application policies and under that user settings in order to configure the application policies. Now here you can set the settings that if the user should be allowed to add personal apps or not or the user should be allowed to view or copy personal passwords or not. You can also set the browser extension version by default it is set to the latest version and you can enable browser extension LAN and catch and other such settings after you are done with these settings according to your needs click on save the application set policy is done now let us move ahead to the device enrollment policy for that click on add policy set Give the name of the policy and its description. Set the policy settings and the policy assignment. Let us state to the all users and devices or you can make it for specific roles or a certain set of users and devices. Now go to endpoint policies and under that device enrollment settings. Here you need to select yes for permitting the device enrollment. Now there are certain settings available to you according to which you can configure the device enrollment. Now you can customize your portal add devices options or you can permit only corporate device enrollment. Let us say we click it to yes. You can also enable invite based enrollment. You can also by set the maximum number of devices that a user can enroll. By default this has been set to 20. I'll be letting it stay to the default. If you want to send a notification on device enrollment, you can select a yes option here. You can also allow the user to be shown a welcome text on the device enrollment. Now, if you want to permit the Android device enrollment, you need to, you have options of selecting all, filter or none. Let us suppose we do not want the Android devices to be enrolled. Now, we have option for the iOS devices also. Say we apply a filter. Here filter means that 
certain uh, the devices that meet the filter uh, that we have applied that is the certain rule that we have applied will only be allowed to enroll say we click on the add rule and we apply the filter of os version the condition is greater than and the value is say 12.2 this means that the devices the ios devices with os version that is greater than 12.2 will only be allowed to enroll currently we are allowing all the ios devices to be enrolled and then after you are done with your settings click on save button now we can see that the device enrollment policy has been uh, set and the status is set to active this is how you set several different policies in adaptive this was all for this video in the next video we'll be seeing about connectors in adaptive thank you